wah, 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 wah. Welcome, everybody, welcome to the Bone Pit. I am your host, Bone Score, and today, today we are playing Shadow the Colossus. We're finishing that up. We would have finished it last time, but we were, I think, like four hours in, something like that. And, um,. One of our uh, lovely viewers asked, uh, do you have like an hour and a half to finish this? And I went, no, I don't. I really don't. Uh, so, I, yeah, we, we didn't finish it last time. <laughs> but we're here today. We're going to finish it today. Uh, we were also supposed to finish Guacamelee yesterday, and we didn't. Because um, I just had a whole bunch of shit going on that I... Uh, I was trying to get done and finish, and uh, even taking the day off from streaming, I still had a whole bunch of shit left undone that I'll have to get done next week, so, because I just don't have the time to do it this week otherwise, uh, so, yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know, it's, um, it's kind of a weird week this week, but uh, hopefully we can get back on track with things. Um, it's probably just as well yesterday anyways, because there was a, uh, <laughs> they'd been, uh, advertising, advertising, I don't know, they've been saying all week on the weather network that, uh, there's be another thunderstorm rolling in yesterday, and, uh, there was, except it was supposed to start initially at, like, two in the afternoon, and go for, like, six, seven hours, and instead... It, uh, it started at, like, 9 last night. <laughs> um, now I had taken the stream off anyways, so. Uh, but yeah, I was a little pissed about that. I was like, how is it gonna... It was like, like, I kept checking it, too, and, like, every hour it would get pushed back a little bit more, and I'm like, what, what the hell is going on? I can see it coming in the sky. I can see the sky, like, turning and... The wind picking up and everything, like, why wouldn't it just rain? Fuck. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, uh, it did, so. You don't have to worry about it just suddenly starting to rain today, which is good. Uh, but yeah, I've been, um, been doing, doing stuff for the channel. I've been doing, um, been doing some more painting little bit uh i've been i've also been uh restoring um an old skateboard i guess uh i had originally uh put together an old deck i found um I just slapped some extra parts on it and um made it rideable for my mom she said forever ago she wanted to learn how to ride a skateboard i thought it might be fun um but, uh, A, she, uh, she has a thing with her ankle now, uh, so it's not really safe for her to be on a skateboard. Um, and B, uh, I went outside, uh, just to noodle around and see how my balance and everything was on it. And, uh, as soon as I put it on the fucking ground, the wheels just, like, split. Uh, which I didn't realize that, uh, skateboard wheels came in multiple layers. That's interesting. That's a that's a neat little fact that I was not aware of before. It's a, it like split open like a shell, and there was just like a smaller skateboard wheel inside, like like Matroshka skateboard wheels. <laughs> I don't know. It's really weird. Um, but yeah, I, I've been like cleaning up all the parts, and I had to uh, I had to strip the grip tape, sand it. Uh, I had to put in, like, wood fill in, uh, in a couple places in the end, because there were some chips and gouges in a few places that, um, it, I put the wood filler in not to help it, like, structurally, but more to help, uh, when I go to put fresh grip tape on, I want it to have, like, a nice smooth surface, right? Like a, like a nice smooth, flat surface without having to push it in and worrying about it like peeling and all that shit so filled that in shaped it sanded it and um <clears throat> i ended up uh having to 
put a coat of white paint over it because uh, just like as a primer and last night I ended up before I went to bed I spent like an hour and a half sticker bombing the goddamn thing uh, so it's <laughs> it's looking pretty cool I've tried to sticker bomb things a few times um, I have stickers like on my laptop on my um, I have a just a clipboard for like writing on like so I have a solid surface wherever I am uh, but like I stickers on that right uh, I like to I like to sticker things I like putting stickers on shit um, always have been always loved stickers uh, but the thing is like every time I go to sticker something I never have enough stickers to sticker bomb it completely I just end up with like well, like as you saw just like a few of them all over um my brother uh has uh actually has a collection of like so like a like thousands of stickers um that he that he's ordered <clears throat> or mom ordered for him like off of like aliexpress or or whatever or wish or whatever uh just like bundles of like 50 100 500 uh like stickers like one piece or or whatever random stuff uh so he kindly let me uh sift through his stickers and pull out a big pile of them to slap on my board i was worried that i wasn't gonna have enough to do the whole thing and um i actually ended up having to give him back a bunch because i couldn't fit them all on um but it was really cool it was really interesting like I've I've never had enough stickers to sticker bomb something properly and being able to act like actually do it this time was really nice um, I, I was really careful to like lay them all out beforehand before I peeled them and uh, figure out like what like layers I want them all in um, because some of them uh, were going to be, like, on the bottom, like, just to fill in space and provide, like, background color or whatever. Um, yeah, it was a really neat experience. Really, really cool. I rather enjoyed a proper sticker bombing. Um, I would love to do that again with something. I considered doing that with my bass guitar uh, when, I, when I got that, but I didn't want to do that. <clears throat> on the off chance I ever like recorded something with it uh, like video wise um, there were a bunch of stickers I wanted to use that were like uh, like logos and, and things like that right um, like uh, like the Twitter logo and the and the the YouTube thing and I don't know just, just better safe than sorry have not having it on there right so I, I didn't end up doing that um, but yeah, really, really cool thing with the, with the skateboard. I've got to, uh, I gotta seal it, I think, with some with some spray, and I gotta put the uh, the trucks and the wheels and everything back on it. Uh, but it's gotta be grip taped before I can put those on. So I might go to the mall. <clears throat> I might go to the mall like on the weekend or something, and have them uh, do it because I think there's a, uh, I think there's a West Forty Nine and a zoomies in the mall west 49 has been moving around quite a bit so i don't know if it's still there apparently it is according to the the internet but um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go i'm gonna call them i'm gonna call both of them uh and check to see if they still grip boards in either shop and see what they they charge for it in both places and then i'll just make a a single trip in and out of the mall there and then I'll ride my, my new board home. Or, well, my refurbished board home, I guess. I'll assemble it in the parking lot there. It'll be very interesting because my, uh, <clears throat> my hamstring is still... Like, it's, it's not quite healed all the way. I can walk and do stuff now, like, fine. But, like, you can't exert. And you can't, like, put strain or anything on it. Uh, I was feeling good and I was like, hey, it feels like it's it's doing all right. So I went to the the bag and I threw a kick at it and that one kick like pulled it a little bit again and I was like, Ugh! okay, maybe not. Maybe we don't maybe we don't do stuff like that. 
So it'll be interesting to see how uh, what the strain is like on my leg riding that home. Uh, hopefully it won't be too bad because it's got nice soft cruising wheels on it, which would be a big improvement. I don't think I intend to like trick a whole lot. I don't want to. I don't want to learn to like kick flip and shit like that. I'm not interested in like rail grinds and anything. Um, I just kind of want to cruise around on it and, if possible, like learn how to surf the bowl, surf in the in in the in the bowls. I think we have a skate. I think we have like one actual skate park in town with a nice bowl in it, and. Uh, yeah, might might go there and, and check things out. I think it's indoor though, so and, and they might charge a cover fee. So I don't know. I don't know. The place is shady. The place is real shady. I used to hang out there all the time. <laughs> it's real fucking shady though. <clears throat> uh Lognegus here. Welcome. Welcome, how are you? Hope all's well today. Hope you're doing good. Lognegus says last Colossus. Can't imagine you skating on the railway. I I skated for a very long time, like like around fourteen years now. It's been it's been less so the last like couple of years. Um, I haven't had like a need to go out like what with COVID and, and everything. Um, but yeah, like I I rode skateboard for a very long time and then uh, switched to a longboard. And then started riding a penny board, which is like half the size of a skateboard. Um, yeah, and now I'm uh, I'm also can, trying to uh, find a way to get into roller skating, which uh, which is really cool. I uh, I've been seeing a lot of roller skating shit on Pinterest, and it's it's really neat. I like it. It's like um, it's like dancing while you cruise at high speed. I like it. I like that a lot. That's a uh, that's probably in the in the springtime or or something. I don't know. I can at least get back out on my board and and noodle around a little bit before the winter sets in. I think. <clears throat> Despite it getting wet and and rainy and snowy here a lot of the time, you can usually get out on your board quite a bit. Like while all that shit is happening because <clears throat> like it caught it like it rains a lot here but like it dries up like that so you you give it like a day at most and you're like back out on the road right it's it's fine uh, the shitty thing is all the the sand and everything washes down because we're at like the bottom of like uh like two hills or whatever we're at the bottom of like a dish um Rainwater washes like dirt and sand and debris all like down in front of our house. Uh, so peeling out on a board is just like havoc on the on the bearings and shit. It's not great, not great at all. I'll have to I'll have to find a. I've been thinking about like where I can go to skate. That's not gonna you know be too hard to get to and from all the time. And I don't know, having a hard time coming up with a good place. But I'll figure it out. I'll I'll figure something out. Um. Yeah. I don't think there's anything of substance to talk about today related to the channel. The art is coming along. Um. It's coming along nicely. I think. So far, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um. Yeah. Yeah, doing doing real good with that, I think. Um, I guess I'll just plug real quick. Bam, we got Instagram, uh, where you can follow my journey learning to paint with watercolors. It's getting slightly better. You should check that out, see how it goes. Uh, if you'd like just the highlights, you head on over to Twitter, where I also do updates and shit posts and whatnot. Uh... The, the main attraction, of course, though, is the Twitch channel where we do things live every day around 4 p.m. Eastern. Um, if you guys want to come hang out there, uh, if you check out the sub button, we've got badges, we got emotes, we got a Discord. Discord's a really cool place. I hang out there and I ship post in there as well. There's a lot more ship posts in the Discord than there is on the Twitter. So, I don't know. Pick your poison. 
But make sure you have an antidote on hand because poison is nasty. Uh, and if you can't make it to the channel in real time when we do things live, you can head on over to... Hold on. Yeah. There we go. You can head on over to YouTube, the archive, where all the past broadcasts go to live like sick animals on a farm. Except that they aren't, like, killed off and and you're not allowed to go visit them because the farm's not real. Th this That's real. This one's real. You, you go find it. You go find your broadcast there. They're, they're living there. And with that out of the way, I gotta what? hit that button. Turn the TV on. And what the f- Oh, oh. It was resting for too long, so the PlayStation shut down. One moment, please. As it whirls back up. Uh, so I know a bunch of you out there will love this. Um, I think yesterday yesterday possibly was le or, or <clears throat> one of the past days today yesterday the day before something like that was the uh, sixth anniversary for undertale um toby fox did a thing i guess or is doing a thing on twitch maybe it's kind of hard to decipher his tweet not gonna lie i was i was trying to find um I was trying to find him tweeting, uh, like, about it being the anniversary specifically, uh, but he was, um, he was tweeting about, like, hey, it's the anniversary, so we're doing this, and I was like, I don't care about your promotion, I just, like, just do the happy birthday tweet so I can, I can share that with people, um, yeah, I guess he's doing some sort of special thing, I don't know, maybe we're, maybe, fingers crossed, I don't know, knock on wood, maybe we'll get delta rune chapter two we still haven't played uh delta rune chapter one but that's because i haven't uh gotten past sans yet uh <laughs> ah shit my fucking controller i haven't really had the time to um even after i finished with terraria there's just been all this other shit to do with the channel so i don't know i don't know but uh yeah i thought uh i thought that was kind of neat and i'm sure a bunch of you out there will be excited for that as it seems to be a Lebowski-esque cult classic uh log next to me kind of tired of how much people bitched about it. Oh, were people bitching about Undertale uh it's cool with his musicals he has had before but it's overdone I don't know uh what uh I haven't seen like anything else from Toby Fox besides his uh undertale and and delta rune um and and just the games i've not gone into like listening to the soundtrack or or looking at i don't know does he have like side comics or or some bullshit i don't know does he like i don't even know <laughs> what else there is for the franchise um for me to get into i've i not looked into it um Yeah, I don't know, it's it's fine. I I like it enough, I guess. Clearly not as much as everybody else does, but, you know. Uh, no bitching as in talked about all the time for over two years, almost, or one and a half. Oh, well, that's not bitching. It's, it's just people being excited and enjoying the content. Very big difference there. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, be... <laughs> I, I agree that it's a it's a little overdone in that uh I don't know. People treat Undertale like it's the video game equivalent of the second coming of Jesus and like it's it's just not. Right? Like it's a great game. It's got a lot of charm and, and there's a lot of like interesting shit about it. Um the whole pacifist run in itself is just like 
really interesting in terms of um, like defying video game standards for however long but um, but to like like people herald it as like the best game ever I've seen and it like I can think of like almost any game Almost almost any of the games that I like and enjoy, I like more than Undertale. So like that's that's quite a that that's quite a staircase for it to climb, right? That's quite a lot of titles for it to beat out. Like I would say like any of the the mainline Zelda games that I, uh, like, have finished or, or enjoyed, right? Like, leagues above Undertale, right? Um, I would say, like, the Kirbys that we've played so far. Oh, we've only played the one Kirby on the channel, haven't we? A, a, a good chunk of the Kirbys that I've played are, are better than Undertale, right? Um, like, there's just, there's just so many. Right, there's so many. What am I? Where's my? Okay, sorry. I'm just trying to remember my buttons here. You ride the horse with triangle, right? And you gotta like hold it instead of uh, tapping. Okay. God, this is going to be a mess. Square is attack. Circle is dodge roll. And X is jump, right? And there's... So, right trigger... Hold on, no. Left is look. Left bumper doesn't appear to do anything, I don't think. Right... Right trigger is grab. And right bumper is, like, Use your sword, use your bow. Okay. Right. And then you gotta, like... Oh! How did I not do that before? How did... Come on. Wander. What is going on? Why won't he go up the thing? No, Wander, go up. Yeah, you're up. Now go up. Climb the ledge, you dumb child. There you go. Okay, this is great. This is great. My sense of the controls is impeccable. Love it. Uh, Lognex said, the story for Undertale is just fine. It's good, but it's not worth being so overhyped for, for so long. Um... It's not the right... Oh, right. Yeah, no, he's, like, right up in there. And we gotta go around right. Right. Ooh, a little bit of health. That's okay. Um, yeah, people, people seem to have, like, the same level of hype. And, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, pe people get, like, aggressively defensive... I think, uh, over, over Undertale in a manner similar to, um, to how people behave towards, uh, The Last of Us. That sort of, like, like, really aggressive, like, you can't say you don't like it because it's a masterpiece, and, like, like, no, no, no I get it, it was good for the time, it was, it, it was fine, but it, it, it wasn't, like nearly as good as, as you're making it out to be nor does it hold up over time I mean one of the biggest problems with that game is the the amount of just like empty rooms that have like nothing to do in them no resources to pick up is just like wasting your time
Where are we? There we go. But I mean, like... I, f I feel like there's gonna be, like, at least a small group like that for any given franchise or, or game or piece of media, right? There's always gonna be those people who, um experienced it at some I don't know turning point in their life and it meant something more to them than it does to everybody else so they'll like vehemently jump to the defense like e even though people are making valid criticisms about it this is a really cool place Look at fucking Hyrule Plateau over here. God, I would love to get back into Breath of the Wild. I'd love to get into any of the Zelda games right now. Fuck. Yeah, it's like right over there in that... It's in that big... That, that big split between the rocks. Uh, oh god, I'm I'm looking at that and and my brain is just screaming wussy. And I hate it. That big gaping wussy right there. Ugh. I hate that the internet has done this to me. Uh, Logan X, people tend to have these fond memories of these games that makes it so much better. I have fond memories of old games, but I know they lack stuff. Um, I said Wind Waker if you have to. I love Wind Waker or Twilight Princess. I'll definitely be playing both of those. I'll be playing both of those. I'm not sure in which order, though. I think it'll probably go... I... Th I think it goes Ocarina, Majora's Mask, and then Twilight Princess, and then Wind Waker is like the alternate, the alternate timeline to Twilight Princess, and then Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild, I'm not sure which one that's in. I think... Like, I, I don't know which timeline that one follows. I can't quite remember. I have to go through the Hyrule Historia again. I think Wind Waker is after Twilight. It floods. Breath of the Wild is the start of the timeline, I think. No, um, uh, what is it? Skyward Sword is the start of the timeline. Breath of the Wild is, uh, like, the newest installment. Um... Wind Waker is actually the alternate timeline to the one that uh, Ocarina, Majora's Mask, and Twilight follows. So, okay, hold on. If I remember... Th Ooh, this is really cool. This is neat. Um, <clears throat> so it gets really confusing. So there's like three different splits, right, with Ocarina. There's... So there's the future that you play through in Ocarina, right? Where uh, where Ganondorf um, succeeds and he rules over uh, Hyrule. Um, and then there's the future that you get at the end of the game where you go back in time to warn Zelda... And and you, you end up stopping him, I guess, which leads to the events of Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess. So yeah, I think I think it's the original timeline in Ocarina, the one that you play through where Ganondorf has taken over Hyrule. I think it's like if you lose, right? If Link never shows up, um because like that's how 
Ganondorf rises to power in the first place, if he never shows up, then King Daphne ends up flooding Hyrule. And that's what leads to Wind Waker? I think. Again, it's been a long time since I've A, played a Zelda, B, read through the Historia. The, the timeline-y shit is a little confusing. But uh, it's it's interesting to think about like where uh, Breath of the Wild falls in after that because um, Breath of the Wild almost seems to follow the Twilight Princess storyline where the world didn't flood. However, it is populated by Koroks and Rito, which are both... Um, the evolutionary um, descendants? Yeah, the evolutionary descendants of the Kokiri and the Zora, respectively, I'm pretty sure. Unhide is here. Welcome. Welcome, buddy. How are you? Hope all is well today. Hope you're doing good. This is A. Sup, folks. We're doing all right. We are... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Look at him go. That's great. That's super cool. I'm glad I saved at that shrine there. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I love it. Oh, and it was, just, it was a dream. He was napping, and it was, it was a dream the whole time. He didn't really die. He, contrary to popular belief, if you die in your dream, you just wake up. You need the horse there? No. Oh, you can't grab onto it, huh? Well, oh man, he like twists and turns in the air. That's that's nuts. That's real fucking funny. If you, like, play with the, the controls, you can get them to flip around and do dumb shit. Ha <laughs> ha! Love it. Heights says, God damn it, you've got the emo I wanted to use locked behind a tier 2 sub. Gonna have to fix that shit when my prime sub rolls over. Oh. <laughs> um... I uh, I do plan to knock that emote down to uh, to a tier one availability when um, when I unlock the slot to do so. I fortunately only have I think it's I I think I only have like one emote slot per tier level, and you unlock more as you go along. Unfortunately, uh, Twitch's, Twitch's fucking policy regarding, like, upgrading your emote slots, uh, involves having, like, consistent subscriptions. So you get points for it, like, you get points for, uh, for different sub-levels. Oh no, the horsey! And you have to make, like... <clears throat> You, I think you gotta make like 15 at the first level. Um, oh, aw, poor horsey. I'm sure they can swim. Uh, you, you gotta unlock. You gotta get like 15 points to unlock the first level there, and uh, it like rolls over at the next like month or or period or whatever. So if you guys want more emotes, more more access to more emotes, you, you tell you tell all your friends about the bone pit. I says I don't give a fuck. I'll sub in here too. Just means my prime sub goes to salty bit. Oh, all right. Well, that's your call, big big mad priest though. Thank you. Uh, fucking forgot about the horse. Oh. That's kind of, that is kind of sad. The horse has been trucking our asses around here the whole time. And I was almost wondering if this was going to be um, 
a, a boss where you fight on horseback. Like, where you gotta, like, ride alongside it and, and cut his ass. Slice open his butt. But, uh, I guess that's not the case. I assume I'm gonna have to... Yep. Hippity hoppity. Going all up here. There's no stoppity. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wander, go over there. Go over there, Wander. Go! Okay, don't. Fine, I'll go back this way then. Uh... <laughs> Horses cannot swim? Are you sure? Oh, wait, no, they can't swim. They tread water. That's right, yeah. Which is, like, different somehow. But how well do horses tread water? Do horses tread water just as well or, or better or worse than uh, rats and their ability to swim? This is the, these are the important questions. Who's who's a better swimmer slash water treader? Is it, is it the horses or the rats? It was somebody saying Wander loves rats. Or no, it was the uh, it was the fucking dude in Dead Cells, right? The the beheaded or whatever just loves rats for some reason. Why? I don't fucking know. Maybe because the beheaded is also a weird creep? Oh, this is cool. I like this. He's like, he's like up on the mountain in the clouds instead of like in the ground. What in the hell? Thunder and lightning. Actually, just the lightning no thunder yet. Where in... What in the hell? Okay, I'm... I... Ooh. Oh, I see. I see. Really? So they've got stairs that lead you all the way up here, right? Just straight up stairs. But then they want you to climb up this mess? What the fuck is that about? Who designed this place? Like, I'm not talking video game wise. I'm talking like, what dumb shit ancient architect was like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna make them climb half the way, but we're also gonna give them stairs and just make it easy. But then make them climb again. And the, oh my god, what in the hell? Oh my god, oh my god, it's fucking Straga. It's fucking Straga from from Darksiders. It's that giant motherfucker that dresses like a building. Some of the other dudes, some of the other colossi have been kind of dressing like buildings. But this guy straight up is like, no, I'm fucking downtown New York is is my is my style. You mean like the fashion people wear there? I, no, I mean the buildings. I mean, I'm going to wear a city block draped over me like finery. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Oh, gosh, golly, Jesus. Fuck there. Get up, Wander. You are so slow to recover, man. Holy fuck. Oh, and you can't even get to cover. Get up! Get up! Get up! Move! Oh, Wander, you suck. You suck, I hate you. Oh, I forgot how much I hate you. You're just as bad as Lara. Yeah, and that one took me out right away. Oh, look at that. Oh, he tries to get up just so he can collapse. What a little bitch. Oh, God. Well, this is great. This is a good start. Okay, so clearly that is, like, too far to run to. 
So, what, we go down this way? And, oh! Oh, hold on, look at this. There's a, oh, there's some bullshit. What do you think of that? Okay. Well, I'm gonna come fuck your ass, Colossus. I'm gonna come fuck your ass with my tiny little sword. It's gonna, it's gonna poke you, and you're gonna barely notice it. What? Oh no! Oh, that's negative progress. That's that's not just like a bump. That's negative progress. Okay. Will he attack if I'm just hanging on? It looks like he's reaching out to try and get me. Okay. Alright, I am here. I am Wander. Get used to it. Uh... Tell me there's like another hole in the ground, right? Or, oh jeez, do I have to... <gasps> Who? Who is that a hole? That's a hole! There's a hole. There's a hole. There's a hole in the bottom of the floor. Which usually would be a bad thing, but this is, this is good. I like this. I rather enjoy that this boss fight is like up like for now is is just like no go exploring Just like explore the level around him Shouldn't I go fight him? No, no, no it's all right Wander what are you doing? What what are you wander? Wander oh oh I can keep going I thought I had to climb up the the thing there this is real sketch oh, it would be real cool if there was like a shrine at his feet so I could you know like save after getting to him <laughs> cuz boy is this gonna be a, a bitch if I have to do it again not that it's hard it's just like a long traversal <clears throat> Holy shit, this, is, this one is aggressive. Yeah, those meteors are no joke. Oh, and that pillar is like perfectly placed to protect you as you come out of the hole there. Because otherwise the timing on that sucks. I've seen a... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, I've seen a few spots where it looks like they want you to go up. But I'm sure it's a trick. And... This... I can't tell if this is a trick or not. I don't think it is. Oh, go. Go and get behind the... What are you doing, Wander? Oh, because I was... It's so weird. Like, you continue to hold the grab button. Or, like... First of all, the, the, the decision to make the grab button crouch is fucking weird. First of all, I don't think I've actually had to use crouch in this game, like, once. I'm sure maybe you, like, can sneak by them later on. Maybe you can sneak up on them. I don't know. But, uh... Oh, hey! We're between his legs now. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I've not used the crouch button. I've used it to grab, but I haven't used it to crouch. And the, the crouch has, like, caused him to screw up a number of times. So, I'm sure... I've got a... I've got to climb up on his dress, right? I'd be willing to bet I gotta go up on that dress. Somehow? Somehow. Maybe... You, you climb up that little metal part right there? 
There's got to be something on this I can grab onto. No? Yeah, it's kind of hard to see in the rain. This, this weather vibe is real dark. Oh, there we go. It's on the inside. It's a very dark weather vibe. Oh, God. Oh, keep your balance, Wander. Maybe, maybe you shouldn't drink so much before you go fight in Colossi. Wander the drunk. And in the rain, too, man. That's, that's dangerous. You gotta be careful. Up. Hey. This isn't so bad. <clears throat> He's not even, like, dancing around or anything. Like, oh. Woo. Like, if he were, like, moving and throwing me off, then, like, this would be difficult, but he's kind of not. Oh, I... Wander just has shit balance. Okay, I can't really, like, grab onto that, can I? That totally looks like something you'd, like, break. And, and his, his armor would crumble a little bit. Although I get the feeling crumbling his armor isn't the objective so much as climbing it is. This whole thing is, uh, is just a, a big, a big climber, isn't it? Don't look up? Usually you tell people don't look down when they're climbing. Its response will be thy road? What the fuck? What are you talking about? What you, what you talking about, Dorman? What you Dorman about? Get all up in between its guts there? I don't know. I don't know. What the fuck? Oh, hey, fur! Oh, hey, weak spot! Boom! And there he goes. I type that you were directly on his legs. Look up, and homeboy's just gonna see some big ball Titan balls. Oh man, he angry. Is he? Yeah, he's like. Okay, that one's like kaput now, isn't it? Yeah, I have to like... I think I have to jump over... And gra like, grab the fur on its hand. Yeah, there we go. Hold on, hold on. Oh, no. Hold on. Uh oh turn around and jump and grab did I grab him yeah I did oh god I don't know where I'm supposed to be like what side there we go oh I see it I see his weak spot oh no he's trying to shake me off that asshole. God, I don't want to... I don't want to, like, stand up and run along. Although I think that's what it wants me to do! Yep. Oh, shit. Wander. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ, Wander. Oh, no, why are you going off the edge? No! Oh, no. What is he doing? Oh, my God. Wander, I hate this. I hate this so much. Can he not see me now? Please tell me I'm hidden. Nope.
I don't know. Okay. Oh, he's got fur there. Okay, I was wondering how I was going to grab on and stab him there. But he's got fur. Okay. And stabby. 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 Oh, that's the last of the stabby, huh? You can rest... When he holds it flat. Uh oh. Oh man. I was trying to rest up there on his arm. Jesus. Oh, you be real careful there. Hold on. Let it come back. And... Hold on. Whoa. Oh, he almost fell there. Ah, oh, damn it. Get up. Get up there, Wander. You gotta, you gotta get onto his fur. And you gotta stab him again. And then he's gonna, he gonna move his arm over, his hand. Right? And then you... No. There we go. You gotta hold back to do the, the jump. Oh man, he's got like fire on him. That's not great. This is not great at all. Damn it. I can't, like, run through the fire, can I? Oh, fuck. And there I go. Oh, but that's not too bad. That could have been a worse fall, I guess. Huh. I'm surprised I didn't take way more damage from that. You would think, right? Hmm. Oh. Go around. Can I go up there? Yes, you can. Keep going, keep going. Oh, we're like almost there again. Nice, we fell in like a really good spot. So his last... Well, no, not his last. I'm assuming he's got like one big good one, right? You're getting the second hand, try stabbing it and make him hold it still so you can use the beam of like to locate his next weak point. Oh! I wasn't sure you even, like, could use the beam of light in the rain. Because I figured you needed, like, the sunlight to reflect it, right? Oh, God. No, get up on his hand. Wait, no. Just hold on, I guess. go. He's going to turn it over. And that's when you... Ugh. God, I'm having such a hard time getting off of his hand here. There we go. Get on. Where? Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, like, flew off of him. No, go over. There we go. Okay, get up. Okay, hold on for a second. Let him shake it out. And then he's 
got to hold still for a moment so I get my stamina back. Come on, recharge. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get back up there. <clears throat> get back up, Wander. Oh, no. He's, like, holding on to the side. Okay. Three, two, one. There he goes. Was he holding on to the ledge again? Why isn't he grabbing the fur? What a fucking moron. But why... Why do that? Why flip around instead of jumping up and grabbing it? There we go. Alright, I have stabbed him. Alright. Okay, and now his hand is still. His hand is still, but it is moving. He is... Okay. Where is that fucking... It's on his head. I should have figured as much. Okay, so how do I... Oh, there's one on his shoulder, too. I don't know how I get to his shoulder past the fire, though. Do I just, like, run and jump? No, there's no way you've got enough... There's no way you can make that jump. Shoot his shoulder? You can do that? Oh! Oh! Fuck. And then he's like, ow, my shoulder. And then I'm about to be like, yeah, your shoulder. Ow. Ow, my shoulder. Oh, my fucking shoulder, man. Okay, and that's all the damage he's going to take on that one. Climb, wander. Cl climb. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. Hold on. Hold on. He said the bow was useless? Oh, I didn't say the bow was useless. I said the crouch was useless. Did I say the bow was useless? Maybe I did. Maybe I did. But yeah, it's... Yeah, it has, has been kind of limited in its, in its uses. Not my go-to, like, oh, I know, I can use the bow, right? Like, uh-oh. Come on, man. Oh, why you gotta be like this? Sit, why you gotta be like this? Now you're getting, you're getting trepanned. Oh, look at him. He doesn't like trepanning. Oh, no. Come on, man. Your brain needs a little bit more oxygen. Oh, God, Wander. You're just, like, going... You're making this so hard. Both of them are together. They're working in conjunction to make this very difficult. Oh man. I'll just stab him, Wander. Build up a stab. Stab, stab, stab a Oh, motherfucker. 
He's not gonna have the fucking capacity to stab Stabaru. Oh, one more. If I have the stamina to withstand this, Jesus Christ. I'm just flip flopping around. Wander is flip flopping more than a footwear of the same name. Come on, stab him. Stab his big fucking face. Yeah, there we go. And he's like, oh, my, my mouth. The giant grasps at his mouth instead of his fucking forehead where I actually stabbed him. Like he's holding back a gasp, like he can't believe it just fucking happened. No, jump wander. Don't let them get you. Oh man, they got me in midair. And it caused me to have like a perfect landing. Last time I did say it was it was useless. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Mostly used to pick fruit for more durability, I would imagine. Yeah, I think so. Uh, picking fruit and uh, and shooting the lizards, I think. Look at these guys showing up after I did all the hard work. It's like a whole envoy of Mr. Cleans. <clears throat> uh, Hides of my Joe, I also haven't played the remake, so I don't know if they've changed any mechanics. Um, and I haven't played the original, so I, I don't know. I was gonna say, yeah, how come you're not wearing your mask, man? This motherfucker wearing the mask, but like not actually wearing it. Jesus Christ, people have been doing that, like, since ancient times? Fuck, man. So it's not- it's not something new with this pandemic. People have just been garbage at wearing their masks, like, forever. This is an old man, probably who I would imagine is, like, the most versed in the stories and the customs and whatever the fuck is going on here. And probably the one who is most likely to know and remember, I'm supposed to wear my mask in this sacred place and just, like... <laughs> It's like watching Fauci like cough into his hand and then shake it, like shake somebody else's hand with it. <laughs> Oxymoron says, I missed your hard fought victory. Oh, I'm sorry, man. It was alright, it was okay though. I only fell off the guy once and I didn't die, which is really cool. I climbed all the way back up real quick. <clears throat> and now dead girlfriend comes back to life, right? Right? And, and then we all go home happy together. And then she gets sacrificed again next year at the next festival. And then we gotta come back again and do this all over. Cycle. Right? Right? How come my body isn't going through the womb this time? Oh, there it goes. There, now he's off to the to the spirit womb. He's gonna get birthed again into the temple. And then dead girlfriend's gonna wake up and be like, Oh my god, it's you! I worked hard for this moment. There are gonna be a lot of birds here that I can fly with, I hope. Hey man, you... Hey, you keep your hands off. And put your mask on, man! Put the fucking mask back on! What the... What is that? The, the sword just, like, flew off of my body? What the fuck happened there? Log next I'm glad Bone doesn't know anything. What does this mean? Oh, do I have horns? Wander's got horns now! Oh, cool! You any idea what you've done? Didn't 
You steal the sword and trespass upon the... Okay, so he wasn't sent here for this, huh? Use the forbidden spell. Oh. What? So he wasn't sent here on a quest. You were only being used. But it, how did he know about this place? About the forbidden land and the the sacred sword and the forbidden spell if... Uh, like, if you didn't tell it to him, right? Like, yeah, he may have been used, but weren't you the one using him? Also, yeah, you're kind of like a demon now, aren't you, Wander? So, like, does the... Does the arrow really matter? Better put him out of his misery than to exist as he stood. Whatever. Terrible aim number one. I imagine... And terrible aim number two. I imagine there's probably a good reason why they shot him in the knee. Instead of, uh... Instead of, like, the face or the chest or whatever. And yet, why wouldn't this guy stab him in the face instead of the heart? What, does he think Wander's a vampire? I want to suck your dick. Blah. He even missed the heart. Yeah, he did too. Yeah, yeah, that impalement is like way off. He fucking totally missed. <laughs> yeah, like he hit the kid's clavicle or something. Yeah, like, like what is that? It looks like it would take just like a, sh like a, like a very simple like shift and it would just like slice through a thin membrane and come out the side of them why is he he all bleeding like that was that the no that wasn't the magic sword that was just a regular it looks like the ordona sword or the ordon or whatever from twilight princess the first one you get Fuck's sakes, what a maroon. Certain dead kid needs his lungs. I, I mean, if he's dead. Or a demon thing. I, I don't know. I don't know. If his lungs are filled with all of that, like, black tendrily stuff that's been, like, accumulating in him, uh, I, I would imagine his lungs are no good anyways. Oh, man. Oh, man. Is he becoming a Colossus? Does he fucking become the next Colossus? Oh, that's so cool! Oh, man. So Dorman was like... Dorman was what, like a demon collective? And they sealed, so they split Dorman and sealed him away in the different colossi. And what, the spell? Okay, so how, how, I would have, okay, so I'm wondering, does Wander know did Wander know about this? Did he know about Dorman and the demon form and like all this, right? Was was this was this a part of the story that he heard or like what? Oh shit! Oh you can fucking play this! Oh yeah, smash him up! Oh no, he got the magic sword. Oh, we gotta, we gotta fucking kill that guy. Where is he? He's like to the left, isn't he? Over there somewhere? How are you guys still alive? Yeah, I, I would imagine, like... Like, if Wander didn't know about this already, 
Like, why would it not have been... Like, because so far it reads like Wander came here under the impression that the spell he was performing would bring his dead girlfriend back to life. But in reality, it was meant to just release Dorman and give him his original form. Now, I would wonder why, like, Wander would have such an impression, right? Why would he be under the assumption that the spell would do what he thought it did and not what it actually does? Also, my, like, actual control here is shit garbage. Actually moving him around is fucking terrible. And he's not really, like... Oh, okay, yeah, he just... Smash and wait, huh? Yeah, I'm, cu I'm very curious to know as to, like, what Wander's, like, level of awareness in this whole thing is. Curious to know why, like... So, like, they have this sword, and they have, like, the story, or whatever, right? Like, why? I don't know. There's, there's missing details, and I'm curious as to why they're missing. But given the level of storytelling in this game, I don't imagine that there will actually be an answer to all of that. What a... Be gone, foul be- what, what the hell was that? What did he just do? Put your mask on! Jesus, man. Okay, so he throws the holy sword into the well. And that's just gonna, like, suck Dorman in? Man, is dead girlfriend even gonna wake up? Is she even gonna stop being dead? Oh man, it's like sucking the essence out of him. But he's gonna be dead anyways, isn't he? Sword he took was the only weapon against the Colossus's Colossi. He only knew they could bring her... He only knew they could bring her back? But so far, she's not even, like, come back, right? Can you grab the... Yeah, you can grab onto the stairs. Awesome. You see, you can't, like, hit the jump button and, like, launch forward, right? But you can hold on to them stairs. Man, suck the doorman out of him and let him, like, let him just die on the stairs there if that's what's going to happen. Oh, no! No, Wander, no! Get out of the pool, you're bad at swimming! He just ate a whole doorman. He should wait fucking 30 minutes at least before he goes in the pool. Man, now he's going to get stomach cramps. The bends. Wait, no, that's with pressure. Yeah, go back across the bridge. Yeah, you run. You run. Okay, so that seems kind of stupid. And so, oh, look at that. Oh, and now the bridge is just... Okay, this this has me confused. So they, see, they fucking split Dorman up and sealed him away inside the Colossi, right? But in case he ever came back, they had this bullshit with the well cooked up. 
Why didn't they just use the well in the first place? Right? Why, would, why wouldn't he be in the well to begin with? Also, like, the whole... Like, wh why build the bridge in the first place, right? Why build the bridge here and the temple and, like... Like, why... This is a place that is clearly built for them to, like, attempt this bullshit rich. Oh, so dead girlfriend does wake up. Alone. In the Forbidden Lands with the bridge collapsed. Wonderful. Wonderful. So she's left here to basically eat lizards and fruit until she dies. That's fantastic. Um... Yeah, like, this this temple seems to be built, like, so that they could attempt this fucking ritual, which, like, if they didn't want it to happen, why would they build this place in the first fucking place? Um, second of all, like, why... Like, why have Dorman's shit, like, the other, like, the icons of the Colossi, why have them lining the walls there? Right? Why wouldn't they be, like, buried underground somewhere where you can't just walk up and see them and be like, Oh, this is part of that shit, right? There's a lot of this. There's a lot of this. That seems like this whole thing was built to happen, even though those guys just came in here screaming, No, don't do it. They were all like, no, 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 it's, it's bad, it's an evil spell, it's forbidden, you can't do that. Then why did you build the fucking temple with the altar? The horse. The horse is back. Its leg is hurt, and possibly the other leg, and possibly... It's, it's a hurt horse. But, uh... Yeah. Lognag said, I think they sealed him with the well the first time. Oh, that would make sense. Uh, and Oxymoron said, Dorman is true to its word. It just didn't share the fine print of the contract. Uh, Susan Bandit, heart of our studio. You touched our lives every day. You encouraged us with your words of kindness and gave us strength. And... Wait, was this whole game made as, like... A memorial to a dead staff member is that what that was for or or was that just a like she just happened to die during production or, or whatever right uh, huh. long next I think the Colossus slowly came to life over the years of him being sealed I don't know it's just speculation there is after credits, by the way. Okay. Oxymoron said, Possible answer. Ancient civilization that used to worship Dorman and the Colossi. Then the White Knights came barging in and split Dorman, pushing the pieces of the god into the Colossi, and over many centuries, people died out and buildings turned to ruins. Okay. Yeah, because there are ruins all over the place. Of, like ancient civilizations having been there prior um so yeah that that would make sense um for the uh for that to be the case yeah it raises the question too like um like they're all like oh dorman Oh, this evil demon would seal him away, fight him, blah, 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 blah. Um, like, there's clearly a lot of, uh, like, support of Dorman here. Like, the. Like, if that is the case, right? If, uh, if there was an ancient civilization that worshipped Dorman, uh, and he was, like, their deity or whatever, uh,. It'd, it'd be strange for these, uh, well, I guess, is if that's an accurate, um, 
uh, if calling them the White Knights is, is accurate, then I guess that makes sense. Um, probably analogs for, like, uh, like Christian Crusaders or whatever, which, as we all know, like, to just come in and say, no, this is how it is now, Your our beliefs are your beliefs, and we're gonna just whitewash the whole place. Uh, so that makes absolute sense, actually. Interesting, though, still, um, if you can, s like, if that is the case, though, like, if, if there is a, a civilization that worshipped Norman, uh, and that's why the temple is there in the first place, and, you know, why the statues of the Colossi are there, and why the altar is there, it begs the question of, like, why is the well there as well, and what's, like, what was the original deal with it? Like, if it's used to seal away Dorman, it's almost like... I don't know, this is like, like why would that be in a place where, like, it's meant to, to worship him, right? Unless it's, like, the bullshit with the sword is what does it, I don't know. Oh, my dinner is ready. Excellent. So when this is over, I will go get my food. Man, is there more credits still? Are you fucking for real? God damn, man. Uh, since the White Knights took the magic sword with them, the ancient people couldn't put Dorman back together until Wander showed up. Huh. Bone score is impatient. Bone score is yeah. I don't like credits. I don't I don't like fucking credit. Especially like like we just saw uh like localization teams. Uh oh it's like it's like baby demon wander. Neat. That's interesting. Um But yeah, like, uh, like they're, they're showing credits for, like, localization teams and everything, and, like, what localization needs to be done? You translated the subtitles? I'm pretty sure the whatever language they're speaking is some, like, bullshit made-up language. Um, and if it's not, I am, I super apologize for, <laughs> for saying that about whoever's language that is. Uh, but it sounds like a super made-up language. Um, so, like... I don't know, like, it's, uh... Like, like there are people who fucking, uh, like, translate and encode subtitles for anime, like, through Discord and shit, right? Like, like fucking teenagers who, who just know how to translate good, uh... So, like, like what, you tell me you need a whole fucking team to do that for this game? You tell me you need a whole team to, to translate the, the subtitles? And, like, why do I need to see that, right? Why do I need to see the team that handled, like, the Japanese version of this game? Or the German version? Or whatever, right? Um... Hyde makes a good point. The game was developed in Japanese. I'm assuming it had to be localized to English. And that makes sense, right? I don't mind, like, if they worked on the version of the game I'm playing, that makes sense. However, when you're showing me, um, uh, like, like the team that made, that worked on the German version and the, like, the, uh, the Scandinavian version and this version and that version and it's like like I don't live in any of these places and I'm not playing that version of the game like that version of the game isn't even for sale where I am so why would you include that in the credits in the version of the game that's not going to be available alongside those ones like it, it, it's, it's a waste of time It's a waste of time, it's a waste of resources in the in the credits and everything. Like it And on top of that, like there's a bunch of shit like head of music. How much actual direct input 
did Head of Music have? Were they the ones actually, like, tweaking the levels and, uh, like, mixing things? Or was Head of Music the person who wandered around the studio and went, Let me take a listen to this. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Okay, yeah, we'll use that. And and they get put in the credits for that. Like, there's there's a bunch of, like, useless credit going on in the credits that, like, doesn't need to fucking be there. And I don't like credits for these reasons. I feel like video games should have, they should all have that option, uh, that thing where like the game ends and it's, the credits are not like this, where you have cutscene going on in the background and there's like story and shit like that that you can miss if you're not paying attention to the credits or if you skip by them. Um, it should just be like the black screen and the credits roll. You should be able to, uh, you should be able to, d to control the speed of the credits and the direction they go in in case you want to go back and look at something in case you're looking for somebody you know uh, and for that reason it should also have a pause feature you should also be able to just skip them outright um just skip the fucking credits uh i'm also a big fan of like the game just ends final cutscene, and then it fades to like game over congratulations thank you for playing uh and then it has a button on the main menu for you to go and watch the credits if you give a shit. 100% of the games I have played, I have not given a fuck about the credits. The cutscenes that go on and the things that happen after the credits? Sure. Sure. Maybe. Uh, and the, I think maybe one game I played where I, I, somebody, I, like, somebody, I, like, a content creator I followed had a hand in it, and I was like, oh, let's see if we can find their name in the credits, and it was such a small part that went by so quickly, I didn't even fucking see it, so, like, yeah, 100% of the time, I don't give a fuck about credits in, in video games, could do without them, could do without them, the optional button is, uh, Is where it's at. Hyde said, let's all be real. Credit sequences can be ridiculously long. I can appreciate the concept of wanting to give everyone their dues, but holy shit, some credit sequences are just lengthy. Yeah, they're, like, I get that. I get giving people their credit, giving people their dues for the work that they did. Uh, but when you do it like, say, how Ubisoft handles the Assassin's Creed project, uh... There's some, there's like a rule in the contract or something, like a clause or whatever, where the, uh, the credits have to display uh, people's names in specific font, uh, like specific font size, uh, and it has to roll by at a specific speed, so they have to be displayed for an X amount of time, depending on like their role in, in development or whatever. Um, and that makes it take like... 15 fucking minutes solid for the credits to go by, and it's egregious. I hate it. Fucking hate Ubisoft's handling of games. Uh, fucking GTA 5 credits went on for like an hour, for like half an hour? Oh, Jesus. Uh, Lognega said, they, oh yeah, may not after credits. It was during their credits. Like to watch credits for games, I like to credit people making it. I mean, I mean, yeah, like, like I said, like, it's, it's fine, like, giving people the credit they're due, but, like, I don't know anybody in the game development industry. I don't know anybody who works on any video game, uh, so I personally don't have reason to give a shit. Uh, Oxymoron had asked, have we heard of the game Eco here? Shadows of the Colossus is considered a prequel to Eco. Oh, and then confirmed the language spoken in this game is fictional. Okay, thank you. I was worried that I was sounding like a huge racist there for a second. Uh, <laughs> uh, Eco, huh? I-C-O? Let me... Uh, let me pop that on my uh, list here. Where is... Eco? I will check that out. 
oxymoron. Thank you for uh, suggesting that. Um, but yeah, that is uh, that is the end of Shadow of the Colossus. It was uh, a little bit of a short play today, but we kind of knew that it was only going to be like an hour and a half getting into it. Um, we could jump in and do a couple of things today, but we don't really have time to like finish them outright as I would want to. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe we don't today. Um, but we'll be, since we're finished with this, we'll be back tomorrow playing, um, we'll finish up Guacamele since we didn't get to it yesterday. Uh, and then with that finished, we'll have two fresh open slots next week, which will be kind of cool. Uh, then coming up on Friday is Dead Cells. Saturday, Sunday, we've got more Tomb Raider. And that's the week. So uh, I hope you guys can find something to get excited about and get excited. I don't know. Uh, Oxymars says, Eco is a platformer puzzle game where a young boy with horns leads a princess out of a large castle away from an evil queen. Some of those elements sound familiar. Oh, that sounds really cool. That does sound really uh, familiar. Maybe we'll have to check that out. I, I like the sound of that. That's really neat. Um, let me check real quickly. And Oh, yeah, it's still going. Okay. Uh, so, I'm going to have us raid somebody we don't usually raid. Because they're not usually streaming. And this is a treat. Uh, let's go. Excellent. Um, so yeah, I guess um, I should thank everybody for coming to hang out today, whether you're here live in the chat or uh, in the archive on your own time. Thank you. Big map reach to all of you guys. Um, wherever you are, I hope you had a good time today, and we'll come back for more in the future. Until then, until I see you here again, stay inside, stay safe, stay hygienic, stay clean, and I guess just have yourselves a good state of existence, okay? Um... Take it easy, everybody, and I'll catch you all next time. Say hi to Plague for me. He has no idea who I am, uh, but tell him I sent you anyways, and it'll be really confusing, and, and we can get a good laugh out of it. Bye-bye! Where's the button now? Oh, there it is.